Who is it? It's the, the, um, Switcheroo. <laughs> Tell me. So the, pro the project is called Switcheroo. Uh -huh. Switch a Roo. And it's been put together by Ru is it Ru R as in? R O. Oh, R R o. Not yeah. R U E. No, no, no. Actually, <laughs> that's not a bad thing. It should have been Switch a Roo. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so uh, Habziba is on her way. So she's a Kenyan student at a business school in Nantes in France. And she's the one who put together this first initiative, a cultural exchange between Kenyan artists oh. and French artists. So she's got this group of street artists and she's got a group of musicians. Yeah. And she's hoping to bring a fashion designer, but I think that hasn't worked out this time around. Mm -hmm. But speak to Habziba when she comes. Yeah. And yes. here she is. <laughs> here she is. She is a lady. I was texting hey. you, sorry. You're just texting me. I came to see what you guys are doing. Yeah. It's beautiful. So you are Switcheroo? Yes, well, we are Switcheroo. It's a, it's a, it's a collaboration project. Uh -huh. um, now, it's... tell me your name again. Uh, my name is Antoine from uh, Street Art Sans Frontières. So street Art? Street Art Sans okay. Frontières. It means street art without borders in French. Oh, How fabulous. And, uh, oh, do you have one? Oh, you are different. You are uh, Lavington Kings. I have one, but it's, it's dirty, so I decided to wear something different. Oh. You know the stickers? Oh. Just to keep in mind the name. Uh huh. And so, are you? Uh, how many people have been involved in this? Uh, today, I even don't know precisely. Maybe 20, 30 people. Really? Yes. Uh, we had the children in the morning, and this afternoon was more like teenagers or adults. Uh -huh. And uh, some of them were uh, are already artists. Some of them are not at all artists. Uh -huh. And the idea is to mix all these kind of people uh, together. Uh, the name of this pro uh, of this first project of Switcheroo is called Colorful Connection. What kind of connection? Colorful. Colorful, Colorful. connection. Uh -huh. And so. Uh, to, I mean, for me, it, uh, it brings uh, the idea of colorful, like uh, the paintings that we do, the uh -huh. different colors that we use, uh -huh. also the fact that we are uh, uh, in an exchange from Kenya and France, uh -huh. so black and white people. Uh -huh. So there is a connection between uh, uh -huh. uh, people from different ages that uh -huh. meet in the front of the world, people uh -huh. that have uh, different, uh, yeah. Um, uh, Wonderful. But uh, social backgrounds, like uh, it's a lot of uh, different people that can meet in this kind of collective project. So, uh, how did you get involved with Fitcheru Naitimo? Well, I was uh, introduced to Hepzibah by Edmond because uh -huh. I I've been working with Edmond on helping him with his art and introduced me to Hepzibah. Uh -huh. and, yeah, we talked and I joined them. It's been fun so far. So, have really you been amazing. painting this wall also? Yeah, yeah. You know. Actually, the major thing is to involve people in painting. Uh -huh. So, like a lot of people are paint, they paint, and then like uh, the rest of the people, uh, us, we just do the final detailing. Uh huh. It's just to make people understand that painting is not even hard. Ah. It's just taking the brush and painting. We would like to bring the idea that art is not only uh, elite. About skills and not for only for elite. Like anybody can try, and if we do it with patience and uh, if we are focused on what we do. Uh -huh. uh, anybody, anybody, anyone can do something. Um, yeah. What we do is like very simple, always a very simple form. Uh -huh. And the idea is to show that uh, what we do is like uh, anyone can do it. It's oh. not complicated at all. It's just about thinking. Uh, you get an idea no, and you you just try to do it uh, uh, nice. Ah, now this is what it's not gazebo. What is your Ebziba. name? Ebziba. Ebziba. Ebziba, yes. Yes, please come and tell me how did you start this thing? Um, after some time living in, in France. Where do um, you live in France? In Saint Nazaire currently. And what yes. do you do there? Um, I just finished my studies um, in business and arts. Uh -huh. um, and while I was there, I realized that there's a huge disconnection between France and Kenya mm -hmm. and with the creative industry. But then everyone I was meeting <laughs> seemed to have complementing ideas or resources. Um, I ways that they can collaborate, but there's just no channel. And so over the months, I've been trying to figure out, do some research, trying to figure out, is there a way for to start engaging as young creatives and <laughs> Citroen was born. Um, so I'm hoping when was that? When was it born? Um, this is the first 
exchange. Uh -huh. So we just it's pretty much the launching, but also the prototyping um, uh -huh. of the whole program. Uh -huh. However, we I have been researching this project for about one and a half years, uh -huh. and little, testing it very very minimally for two years before that, um, just on a very small scale. Uh -huh. So this is a big, huge, like bold step trying to say, okay, France, Kenya, let's do it together. <laughs> wow! But, but it's I think some something very necessary. Um, as a Kenyan, I enjoyed my time in France, and I think the French have really enjoyed their time in Kenya as well. Yeah. Um, and I think that this is this is why we should be opening up like some frontiers <laughs> without borders. Did without you know borders. them before? Did you know Antoine before? Yes, I knew. I think almost all the artists before. Uh -huh. um, just maybe a handful, maybe four that I didn't know after. Um, but then this is the reason actually that this project started, um, because of the people that I met, um, whose ideas I really believed in, uh -huh. and I thought that they could reach so much in Kenya and also the Kenyan artists whose ideas I believed in that I thought would really represent Kenya well in France uh -huh. and so the first exchange is really encompassed by a lot of people that I already know uh -huh. um, and now they know each other. <laughs> Fantastic. So I hope new friendships are built and yeah. um, new ideas and ways to collaborate for the long term. The idea is really to create friendships um, that uh -huh. continue, you know. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, uh, Naitimo, you said that you have been to places besides French, you've yeah. been to where We've been else? to Kibera, uh -huh. printing with the kids in Kibera, uh -huh. in um, uh, Matare, uh -huh. uh, also Jamuhuri, uh -huh. Pangani, Pangani uh -huh. um, uh, Kawangware, Kawangware, the place we were the other day. Yeah, so some, sometimes it's just involving the kids in the slums to work with us, uh -huh. and sometimes it's like organizations, like uh -huh. uh, in Kawangware we went to St. Dorcas, Educational center. Uh -huh. It's a place where it's a children's home, uh -huh. and we work with the kids there. Uh -huh. Yeah, in Jamhuri, what uh, Wale Wale, Wale Wale is also like a sort of like it just brings children together to to develop uh, talent. Uh -huh. So we work with the kids. We had fun, played football. Yeah, it was fun. How oh, fantastic! Well, thank you for coming. How? Although we've been having a lot of issues with the, especially the city council. Ah. Like yesterday, we were to paint uh, the the stairs at the poster. Yes, yes. We have the permit. They have the permit uh -huh. and everything, but so many issues trying to. We did, we ended up not painting at all because of the authorities. Like everyone's oh, like, they're not the permit. We're like here is the permit, and then there's still more and more complications. Ah, that has been the problem. But other than that, I think we're good. That has been a, quite a problem. And well, also, it slowed down the project. But they discovered what Nairobi is like. You learned a lot very quickly about Nairobi. <laughs> we have problems with the city council. <laughs> they pick on a lot of people. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah it's true. Uh -huh. So how many days have you been working together? A bit less than two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. Oh, wow. Fabulous. Well, thank you very much. I'm so glad you called me. <laughs> huh?